When we consider the kinetics of a reaction, the energetics term that we're talking about that's so important is activation energy. That's the value we term Ea. When we're talking about thermodynamics of a reaction, we're talking about the energetics of the reactants, the energetics of the products, and how the total energetics of the reactants compares with the total energetics of the products. And we've talked about the fact that we call the difference in energy between reactants and products delta H, or more completely, delta G. There are two types of reactions. Thermodynamics are important, but in different ways for the two types of reactions. Take a look. For irreversible reactions, we simply see reactants converted to products. Previously, we focused on the activation energy of that process, which, in fact, determines the rates, and the rates are important. Does that mean thermodynamics are not important? Oh no. Take a look. We'll say that both of these reactions are irreversible. So we know that the rates are dependent on the activation energies. But for thermodynamics, we're interested in the delta G, the change in energy, or perhaps delta H, for reactants versus products. And look at the difference. And we do care. Why do we care? In one of these cases, delta G is positive. This reaction requires energy to sustain it. Whereas in the other case, delta G is negative. And this reaction will evolve energy. If this is a large value, you better stand back or be ready to cool that thing. Think about burning gasoline, for instance. Burning gasoline is an irreversible reaction. It gives off a lot of heat. Delta G is a large negative value. And it's important that we know that. So for irreversible reactions, we need to know the activation energy regarding the kinetics, but we need to know the energetics of reactants and products and the difference between them to understand whether we need to put in energy to get this reaction to go or expect to have energy released. For the other category of reaction, reversible reactions, we have reactants going to products and products going back to reactants. Where we have an equilibrium like this, we're not so concerned with the activation energy, but rather we are very concerned with the relative energetics of the reactants and the products. For the simple reason that that determines which side of this equilibrium will be favored. For the energy diagram on the left, the change in free energy is positive. This is energetically uphill, and as a result, the reactants are favored. On the other hand, looking at the energy diagram on the right, we see just the opposite. There's a delta G value that's negative. This is a reaction that evolves energy, goes to more stable products, and therefore the products are favored. It's as simple as that. When we're thinking about thermodynamics, we'll look at the energetics of the reactants and the products. We'll notice that for irreversible reactions, the difference between those two will simply tell us whether we have to put more energy in or get energy out. For reversible reactions, that delta G value will tell us whether the reactants or the products are favored. Positive delta G values favor reactants and negative delta G values favor products. Which is another way of saying the equilibrium will favor either the reactants or the products, whichever is collectively, the more stable.